Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the Thursday afternoon, just before Friday, Monday morning podcast. And I... I'm just checking in on you. How's it going? How are you? How's your week going? Oh, that's wonderful. Now, I know a lot of you guys last Monday were very upset with me when I was speaking in code. And you just couldn't, you know, about my European tour. You were like, well, wait a minute. It rhymes with Bundin Mingland. Well, where the hell would that be? I'm not some sort of sleuth. I can't figure that stuff out. I got to start breaking down code. This isn't what I signed up for. I, I signed up to listen to an angry half a leprechaun, you know, bitch about getting a sunburn. Um, all right. Well, I can actually announce some dates. I don't know why I can't announce all of them. I don't know what the big fucking secret is. It's not like I'm going to go over there to start spying on you. Uh, but here's the ones we got so far. Actually, that the tickets are going to go on sale. Um, I don't even know how to fucking say these places. Colston, C-O-L-S-T-O-N Hall in Bristol, um, UK. Um, announced 525 at 10 a.m. All right, so the tickets are on sale. Oh, this is when I announce it. Well, I'm announcing it on the 26th. Um, the tickets will go on sale on May 27th um, at 10 a.m. BST, whatever the fuck that means. Britain Standard Time? I don't know. Billy's Stupid Tits? I have no idea. Um, you can get those at livenation.com, artist slash Bill Bird dash two, whatever. The link is on my, my, um, my website. That's going to be August 3rd. On August 4th, I'm going to be in fucking Manchester. Manchester, England, home of Man United. Um, I'm going to be there um, on August 4th. And uh, those tickets will also go on. Those tickets will go on sale on the 26th. That's the pre-sale. Um, to sell subscribers only. Whatever the fuck that means. I don't know what any of this shit means. Um, for all you normal people, I guess who don't have cell phones, for all the old people, um, tickets for everybody else will go on sale on May 27th at 10 a.m. Uh, Billy Stupid Tits time. Uh, <laughs> um, August 5th, where am I going to be next? Oh, I'm going to be in London, England at the Apollo Hammersmith. Um, these things go on sale at, uh, once again, May 27th at 10 a.m. Uh, Britain Standard Time. God Save the Queen time. I don't know. Um, and August 8th, I'm going to be ed in uh, Edinburgh, uh, Scotland. The fuck's the fucking podcast? Uh, sorry for the bad accent. Uh, Pleasant's Grand. Two shows there. I think I'm doing two in London, too. I can't remember. I don't fuck. I don't, I don't pretend to know these things. Um, those will also go on sale on May 27th at 10 a.m. All right. And I got some dates. I got three dates in Ireland, too. And I got uh, something in Amsterdam. I think that'll be it. Nice little 10-day fucking run there. Go over there. You know, stare at you pasty cunts and see where my freckles came from. That's what I'm doing. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot fucking wait, you know. We are knee-deep, neck-deep into writing this season. We got the table read here in a couple hours for episode five. Episode five. Um, then we do six, seven, eight in June. And then 9 and 10 in July. And then we fucking edit them for the next 10 months. Not even 10 months. Whatever. For the next 6 months, we'll be editing all this fucking shit. And we'll basically have them. And then they'll come out May of next year. And you guys will sit down with a six-pack of beer. And you'll burn through them in about three hours. <laughs> and then be like, where the fuck's the next one? And you know what? We'll make you some more. Because we're having a great time. But I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it has become my life. And I don't know what the fuck's going on. At all. I know that Donald Trump was here yesterday um, having a rally down in fucking Anaheim, um, which I thought was pretty perfect for him to be heading down towards Orange County with whatever the fuck it is on his head to talk to a bunch of people that, you know, whatever the fuck they did to their face. <laughs> you know, I swear to God, Hollywood gets such gets so much shit for like, you know, like everybody out here has plastic surgery. I'm not saying they don't, but.
but um, at least it's decent. Jesus Christ, you go down to fucking Orange County with all those real housewives and those uh, Bruce Jenner looking dudes. You know what I mean? Remember when Bruce was still Bruce? Remember when Caitlyn was still Bruce? And uh, the dude had his eyes done, you know, and the nose and all that. They all had like those fucking, I think I did a bit about that in my act. They got all have the Bruce Jenner eyes. And I used to, I thought it was bullshit. I was, you know, you know, my wife would watch the real housewives of uh, housewives of Orange County. I'd be like, all right, they picked the six biggest psycho couples they could find. People down here don't look like this. And then I went down to Irvine. I was playing the improv and I walked around the mall and I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, these fucking people, I don't know what they're doing out here. I think when you get into warmer climates and people have to wear less clothes, they really start doing the plastic surgery shit. You know what I mean? All you guys in those winter climates, you can hide in your puffy coats, you know? Sport coat, button-down shirt. I'll never forget that when I used to work in a warehouse. When I was a young lad, full head of hair, fucking abs, the whole thing. Half as many freckles, you know? Sunny outlook on life. Oh, it was a long time ago. I remember once a year we'd have the company picnic and all these fucking suits who looked like they were in at least halfway decent shape. They'd showed up. They show up in T-shirts and holy shit. Jesus Christ, the fucking rolls just fucking spilling out, out, pushing out the fucking T-shirts. It was horrific. I just remember looking at these people going, this guy's running the company. This t- I'm, I'm taking orders from this tub of shit and they could feel it, too. They could feel it. Um, they felt the eyes looking at them. Shame. You could shame people. You could fat shame people back in 88, 89. Not anymore. Not anymore. Now I'm now I'm the problem, right? It's not their fucking 8,000 calories a day, you know? It's what happened to them when they were six. That's why they're eating fucking ice cream with candy bars in it. Um, sorry. Anyways. Let's plow ahead here. Yeah, so I have absolutely no idea what the fuck is going on at anywhere, at any time, anything. All I know is I'm in a fucking writer's room. Now, evidently, me, me in St. Louis, Louis, meet me at the fair. Evidently, my St. Louis Blues lost last night. You know, they came back, they tied it up four games, two games to two. And that's the last game I saw because I've been stuck in this fucking room and I forgot to tape the last couple of times. Um, you know, cause we, you know, we had one every once in a while, you just have a fucking st- a, st- a story and you're trying to do it. Everybody's got 15,000 notes. You know, this isn't tracking. It's not on the page. I don't think we earned this. What's the motivation. You got to raise the stakes. And for those of you not in the business, that means you're not going to see anybody you love for the next 48 hours. <laughs> so I missed everything. Evidently, according to people on Twitter, the Sharks gave the Blues the old right there, Fred, in game five and six. Sit down and shut the fuck up. My condolences to Blues fans. Um, I know you wanted more, but uh, great season. You know, you beat the fucking Blues. You beat the fucking Stars. And then you lost to the fucking Sharks. All right? And I believe it was Meatloaf who said two out of three. Sorry. Um... Yeah, it's, that's fucking brutal, man. Especially when you get that deep into the playoffs and then it's just fucking over and then you're just sitting there like, now what do I do? Well, you live in St. Louis. This is what you do. You go to a Cardinals game and you watch the Rams pack up and leave your city. <laughs> and this is what you should do. Rather than crying in your fucking Peyton Manning partially owned beer, um, what you should do is uh, you guys ought to fucking talk to the Arizona Cardinals. Tell them to come back. You know, I mean, that's what I would do. Oh, would you, Bill? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even know how to begin. I wouldn't even know how to begin to go about doing something like that. Yeah, I mean, I would have no idea. How to, I have no idea how to go about anything. I'm one of those fucking guys. You know, what you should do. You should fucking do this. Oh yeah, how do you how do you do that? You know, I'm like I'm like I'm like Donald Trump, except I'm not running for president. You know, I'll build a fucking wall between here and Mexico. I'm going to make Mexico pay for it. Oh, yeah, how are you going to do that, Donald? Ah! That fucking guy. Can you fucking believe that? that I mean, it's... fuck. It's... it's That and Hillary Clinton. I cannot believe people are going to fucking vote for either one of them. I just cannot fucking believe it. Unfucking believable. They'll vote for Hillary Clinton. They'll put her in fucking office and then bitch that nothing changed. How many fucking times... 
Remember that shit? Oh, we're gonna fucking, we got a new guy. We got hope. It's gonna end the war. Close down Guantanamo, babe. It's uh, nothing fucking changed. Nothing changed. It's the exact fucking same thing. Then you got this fucking jerk off. Who's just, <laughs> all he just says is no matter what you bring up. Hey, Donald, what's up with your shirt? This is the best shirt. I have the best shirts. I'll have the best shirts of any president ever. And there's a fucking zillion people losing their fucking minds going, this guy, this guy's going to turn it around. I guess he said the other day he took a physical. He's 69 years old. And he said the doctor said he had the, I have, he said I had the, I have the best body. The best body of any 69 year old he's ever seen. Like, how do you not see like, you know what he's like? Remember that guy who wrote the twist? Come on, baby, let's do the twist, right? And then next summer he comes out. Hey, write another hit song. Uh, twist again, like we did last summer. It's the same fucking song. The guy actually re referenced back, like, you know, do you remember when I wrote the same song? It was a year ago. Um, the fuck was that guy's name? I know it wasn't Charlie Pride. Chubby Checker. You know what's worse about any time you bring up Chubby Checker, then somebody always has to tell you the story of how he got his name. Well, you know, there was Fats Domino, so they said Fats Chubby Domino Checker. Yes, everybody's heard that story. We all saw Dick Clark tell that story, and then everybody told it in the fucking bars, you cunts. Um, anyway, so... Oh, I haven't given you guys the update on my sciatica. Sciatica, uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, sciatica. Um, I think I found the cure for it. I have not sat down for more than fucking, I don't know, six seconds for the last like 48 hours. And it seems to be doing wonders for me. Um, that's the hardest thing about having sciatica. I'm, other than when I drive to the fucking office and come back, um, I basically stand up in the writer's room and when I'm sick of standing I just lay down on the floor like one of those fucking animals at the airport some of the pictures you guys are sending me to are fucking hilarious this guy sent me one where this guy was like you know they have the row of chairs he was sleeping underneath them like perpendicular to them so he had his legs his ass and his lower back were underneath the chair laying on his front and then he was like holding on to like his hooded sweatshirt that he was using as a pillow he had that all wrapped with his head on the side like uh like a little kid sleeping with the stuffed animal um i mean gee like how long has your flight been delayed that you you just lost that much i don't know respect for yourself that you're gonna fucking lay down. i mean who's kidding who i mean i get on a plane every once in a while it's a long fucking flight you know you might kick your shoes off. You got your socks on. You keep your socks on top of your shoes. You might do something like that for a minute, provided your feet don't fucking stink. Provided you took a shower that day. You got on some fucking fairly new socks and a fairly new pair of sneakers. There's nothing wrong with that, but Jesus Christ. And you start walking around the fucking plane, going into the bathroom. Animals. So anyways, anyways, let me, let me, uh, let me get back to the sports here. So the blues are knocked out. The Sharks have made their first final. Um, the Cavs kicked the fuck out of the, the, the Raptors, as far as I know. And I've only, you know, like I said, I just watch highlights of this shit. It's dumbest fucking move was the Raptors to start doing the uh, wagging the finger. Why would you do that? You know? Hey, we're finally starting to win here. Why don't we uh, piss off the Cavs and get them more motivated? They only have LeBron fucking James. You know, um, and OKC is in the process of uh, raping the, uh, the fuck are they, the California Seals? Who are they playing? Golden State Warriors. Um, Jesus Christ. And I've missed all of it, and I don't know anybody on any fucking team. I mean, other than the Stars. I know those guys, so I'm going to shut up about it. But I am tonight, I'm going to tape Game 7 of the Pens Lightning. And I'm also going to tape the uh, the OKC game because I want to see if they're going to close out the Warriors. Um, and then, you know, you know, it's funny. All you need to do is just watch highlights. And you could you could still host a sports show, you know. I got to tell you right now. 
if I'm Oklahoma, if I'm the whoever makes the finals in the East, let's say Cleveland wins. I'll tell you, if I'm the Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, I got to be concerned with the, the thunder of Oklahoma City, considering they beat the Spurs and they beat the Warriors. You know, two perennial favorites out in the West. Um, That's amazing, the shit that they're doing out there. I wish I was watching it, and I didn't, so I'm going to shut up about it, all right, before I, it's any more excruciating to all you cunts out there. Um, yeah, so we're sitting there uh, right in the fucking show, and there's all these goddamn fucking, like, stormtroopers driving up and down the, the street. You ever see those, those fucking <laughs> lunatics, cops, like this, the, the riot gear ones, you know, that you, you'd think you'd only see them. You'd think you'd only see them in, in, like, countries where they have, like, a dictator, you know, where the truck is driving down the street and they're standing on the outside of it, holding on to it. Like, just, just way, way over the top. Like, what the fuck? I thought I lived in a democracy. What the fuck is that? Uh, they were driving over to, like, Jimmy Kimmel because uh, Trump was going to go over there and say that he was the greatest panel guest ever. Um, and they're fucking driving over there like lunatics. One of the biggest bullshit things ever is that in this country, you're allowed to protest. It's such bullshit. You're not. You show up to protest. You stand in there with your sign. And then the cops come down and they beat the shit out of you. That's basically what happens. Or... You file for a permit, and they tell you where you can protest, and it's down the street and up over a fucking hill. And if you even remotely raise your voice, you get a billy club to the face. And that's pretty much every single fucking country out there that considers itself a democracy. Now, the ones that have a fucking dictator, you're not even allowed to do it. They just come out and they shoot you. So I guess, you know, compared to getting shot, it's fucking unbelievable. I just don't fucking get it. Like, what is wrong with a bunch of people chanting with signs? I'm not talking about the people who start jumping on cop cars because those are the guys that they always show. But even if you don't do that, they just come down and they beat the fuck out of you. Um, I'd hate to have that job as a cop. It's got to be so weird driving down there going like, wait a minute. These are fellow Americans. They're protesting. This is the sign of a healthy democracy. And then you got your guy, when I tell you to slam the club over their fucking head, you know, you're going to ask me how, how. Um, but they had like all these fucking trucks and shit. They were just flying up and down the fucking street, you know, and then they'll put it on the news and there'll be eight people that were flipping the fuck out. And that's all they're going to show. And then the other thousand that showed up and were just sort of standing there. And they're all going to get defined by them. You know how it works. Well, I guess I'm doing that to the cops, right? Defining them by all the ones that beat the fuck out of them. That's what I like to do, people. I like to make a point, and then I like to just completely fucking destroy everything that I said. You know what? This this podcast just be just just be called the I Have No Answers. I have arguments, but I have no answers. Hey, have you guys visited the All Things Comedy website, ATC.com? Have you been there lately? Well, you should. Some of the greatest podcasts on... In the free world are on there. And um, I'd appreciate if you'd swing by, check it out every once in a while. If you could, if you're getting sick of this podcast, there's plenty of other podcasts to listen to. Um, oh, by the way, I, I got to tell you this. I fucking, I couldn't sleep last night, right? So like 4.50 in the morning, I'm just, I'm on, I'm on Twitter. And for whatever reason, I'm just fucking looking at shit. And I put my phone on silence and I, turned all the volume down because Nia's sleeping next to me and then there was a video and I clicked on it and I thought because everything was off that I could just fucking watch it with the sound down you know I was watching all you know those things where people somebody falls down and they put it to a song you know and there was somebody doing like those fucking you know a burnout spinning around and shit and fucking slammed into this guy uh, so I wanted to hear what song they put it to. I didn't want to see that. I just wanted the screen to be bigger so I could fucking see it. And I pressed play. And, and it came on full blast. And my wife just goes, Jesus Christ, what what the fuck? I flipped out. And I was like, sorry, sorry, sorry. And then she immediately went back to sleep. And then for another half hour, you know, I'm still on the phone because I can't sleep. And then I hit another one like an asshole. Wasn't thinking. I just wanted to see what happened to this person. And she fucking sat up 
And she literally did the Ralph Cramden. She just goes, out, out. <laughs> Pointed at the fucking door. And I wanted to start laughing, but I knew she was going to get mad at me. And then she just went back to sleep and I didn't leave. But I'm waiting for her to wake up so I can tell her that she did that. Depending on how tired she is, you know, because she might be pissed at me. Might still be pissed at me. You know what? That's one of those later in the day ones. At the end of the day, when she can go to sleep, I'll fucking bring it up. Anyways, what the fuck can I finish on? I really don't have anything to finish on other than um, I'm excited that we're doing the table read for uh, number five. Next week, we write all week. We don't have a table re read. And then three weeks in a row, we do episode six, seven, eight. Week off, just writing, no table read. And then nine, ten. And then I'm fucking done in the writer's room. And maybe my fucking ass over here can fucking stop sending electric jolts down my fucking leg. I'm laying down in the room now, guy. I feel like fucking like some Howard Hughes without the money. <laughs> this fucking wolfman nails. You know, I saw somebody the other day when I was in the airport and they were playing classical guitar. You know what I mean? And it, it sounded beautiful. But the only thing that sucks about playing classical guitar is you got to grow your nails like a fucking wolf, man. You know, on one of your hands. And it's all good when you're sitting down playing guitar. But the second you put your guitar down, yeah, you just, it, it looks fucking gross. Am I out of my mind? And I guess that's no reason to stop. There's a few instruments you always have to pay the price for, like trumpet. Trumpet's one of them, you know. You start playing the trumpet, you get that fucking callus on your on your on your lip. You know, it's one of my favorite instruments ever. I love the fucking trumpet, but I would never play it, pay, play it because I, w I wasn't willing to pay the price. And plus, I knew I, I would only be okay at it. Who wants to be okay with a fucking trumpet callus? Um, not this guy. I'll tell you that right now. All right, now here we go. I'm gonna give you my predictions for all the game sixes and sevens out there, and uh, you can take all of these predictions to the bank. And they won't give you shit for them because I haven't watched any of these series. Um, the, Gold, uh, the Golden State Warriors will win the next game. Ah, will they? I don't know. I didn't see the game. All I know is everybody said the exact same thing. I'll tell you, this team is a lot longer and a lot more talented than they're used to seeing. Everybody did a version of that. I guess they're long and they're talented. And uh, the Warriors haven't seen anything like this, even though they played Oklahoma during the regular season. But I don't think they were looking at them. Um, all right. The uh, Tampa Bay Lightning will win game seven tonight. All right. So I feel like I'm 0 for 2 already. And what else we got? The Cavs. Oh, the Cavs are winning the next one. That fucking series is over. You don't fucking wag your finger in fucking LeBron James' face or any of his teammates. Are you out of your fucking mind? You know, all these fucking actors running around, bulking up, putting on their fucking underoos, playing these superheroes, right? And all these fucking nerds going down to fucking check out who could fucking win the Hulk or Captain America. And what about Thor? Well, he's kind of stupid. He just has a hat and a hammer, you know? If you cut his hair, his fucking hammer breaks. All this fucking bullshit, you know? And then you got these fucking Comic-Con cunts who actually dress like superheroes for real and walk around and try and stop crime. You know what I mean? Because they just so want these superheroes to be real. Well, just go to a Cavs game, you stupid cunt, and watch LeBron James. Okay? LeBron James could grab Batman and Robin in one fucking hand, throw him through a plate glass window, and he'd still get the and one if someone was hanging off his other fucking arm. Okay? Just go buy a ticket and sit down like a fucking gentleman. Stop standing in line with fucking 50 people dressed like Chewbacca and, and, and Aquaman down in San Diego, whatever the fuck you go, so you can sit down and talk to the cast of, uh, I don't fucking know, one of those goddamn shows. What is, what is, what is a, what is a, con I guess mine's a Comic-Con show, huh? Now that I think about it. Oh, Jesus. I hope they don't play that audio if we ever do that show. Well, maybe they do. What are they going to do, huh? Throw some of their uh, action figures still in the box at me? <laughs> you know why it's worth more if it's still in the box? Ah, I can't say why. 
I can't say, oh, you know why. It's fucking weirdos. As you know, it hasn't been anywhere disgusting. Um, happy Red Nose Day. What is this here? Hey, people send me this Twitter. It's for kids, you red nose fucko. Somebody just told me what the red nose thing is for. It goes, it's, it's for kids. Oh, is that what it's for? It's for kids. Oh, that explains it. I don't know why I'm such a douche, but I fucking cannot stand. I can't fucking stand when a bunch of celebrities get behind a fucking cause and there's a fucking ribbon or a goddamn nose. And they I, I don't know why. I just, it drives, I know it's a good cause. I'm behind the cause, but I fucking hate it. And then everybody's got to find their own unique way to have the nose on their face, how they're going to fucking hold it. It's just, uh, it just drives me up the fucking wall. That and famous people telling me who to vote for. Oh, you know what? I didn't know who to vote for. And then you told me, I mean, I guess I bitch about it, but I'm not telling you who to vote for. I don't fucking know. Like make a fucking 20 minute video. Here's why you should vote for fucking Freddy Fuckface. You know, we're running out of water. Oh, shut up. Um, you know what's funny about what I just said? I could literally just stare in a mirror and say that to myself in a lot of ways, right? I never tell you cunts who to vote for. I just make fun of the people you do vote for. That's what I do. Huh? You want some comb-over, orange-haired cunt? Why don't you just vote for me? <laughs> Instead of Donald Trump. The fuck is wrong with you? I have the greatest podcast ever. Nobody tells a shit joke like me. This club owner told me after in 40 years of running a club, he's never seen shit jokes like my shit jokes. Um, speaking of which, I'm actually doing a bet. Vote for whatever the fuck you want to vote for. I don't give a fuck. It's not going to change anything. We're a bunch of animals and we're doomed to destroy each other. So, you know, get yourself a dog and a hobby. You know, find somebody you like. Treat them nice, and uh, it'll be great. They'll stay with you, and when the whole thing goes down, you'll have someone to hug. Jesus. Um, anyways, <laughs> that, that made me lose my complete train of thought. Oh, tonight. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Oh. Um, what was Phil Collins thinking in the 80s? Jesus Christ, he's such a great musician. Some of the worst fucking songs. After, after uh, I can feel it coming. Um. Then all of a sudden he was doing You Can't Hurry Love. After You Can't Hurry Love, then he did that song. Easy Lover was decent. And then it just went off the fucking rails. It's a studio. And that one where he was yelling at you. You know, telling us to think twice because it's another day for you and me in paradise. You know, when you see a homeless person, it's like, hey, fuckhead, you know, the way I'm living compared to the way you're living, you don't need to look at a homeless guy. Just look at me. You should feel lucky when you look at me. You don't have to go all the way down to that level, do you? You fucking castle. Um, tonight, I'm going to be down at the Comedy Stewart uh, doing a benefit for kids. <laughs> That's another one. But I won't be wearing a red nose. Uh, but I will be jumping around like a fucking clown. This is for... Uh, you know what? I don't know what it's for. It's for sick kids in hospitals. I have no idea. All I know is whoever put it together, um, I don't know. I trust him. Steve Simone. I trust the guy. So I, I, I figure, you know, I figure it's on the up and up. Who knows? I don't fucking, I don't pretend to know things. Um, hey, is anybody out there who listens to this? Are you one of those fucking riot police guys that rides on the outside of the truck? And when you do it, as much as your adrenaline is going up, do you ever just think of how fucking ridiculous it is? You know, like, what are we doing here? We got to get over to Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> Donald Trump is there. Um, what's going to happen? Uh, all right. I think I, I think I pissed off enough people with this one. All right. Go f um, have a great weekend, you cunts. And I will talk to you on Monday. And like I said, you can take all of those predictions to the bank. But I don't think we'll be getting it for <laughs>